Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about ad placement and selling your bug. If you're interested in selling your bug online, uh, I got a few tips for you guys um, that I, I want to share with you and uh, there's been a growing problem, growing trend these days that I've been looking to vent off my chest here to kind of help you guys who are looking to sell your beetle. Um, lately I've been noticing online, whether it's through eBay, Craigslist, the Samba or any other you know, car related website where you can sell your car is the lack of substance in the ads and the lack of photos. Um, you know, with our technology we have today at our disposal that we never used to have between our smartphones, digital cameras, camcorders, I mean, they're so inexpensive these days and it's so easy now to take multiple pictures without having to worry if you took a good shot or not, you could always delete the photo and, and take another one if need be. Um, but nine times out of ten, the ads that I'm seeing online are just lacking in material. Uh, and it's getting to the point where I'm repetitive to many of the sellers online when it comes to asking questions and things like that. So a couple tips I want to give you guys right off the bat when it comes to selling your Beetle or even your car in general online is number one, when you list on the internet, you are global, you are not local. I think there's still some old school mentality out there where people thinking, you know, I'm listing in a newspaper and they're thinking it's local and I got three lines, I can just post up an ad and then you know, people will come to me. Um, no, that is not the case. I mean, as many times I'm searching, whether it's on eBay or on the Samba or some other uh, uh, car website, and I'm here in New York and the car's in Oregon and I ask for more pictures and the guy's like, wow, well, why don't you just come down and take a look at the car? Yeah, I'm in New York. I'm 3,000 miles away, you know, and I don't think it's clicking. I don't think it's generating to many people. And it's understandable if you're kind of old school and you're new to the computer technology. Uh, but yeah, you, you really got to realize that if you're online, you are global, not local. Um, number two, and this, maybe this could even be a number one, is pictures. Constantly, I am asking for more pictures. I mean, and there's some ads where I'm seeing prices from $25,000, $30,000 cars, sometimes even more, and there's no pictures. Maybe there's one or two pictures, and they're shot in a garage, and there's no light, and it's this deep shadows on it. You can't even get a good representation of the car. And this is what I'm seeing constantly, uh, and I'm constantly asking for, for more pictures. Now, think of the 360 rule when it comes to interior and exterior when it comes to selling your car, okay? First of all, if you're going to take pictures of your car, please do it outside in natural light and kind of do it on a day when it's, it's sunny and this, the sun's at its high peak, so you're not going to get harsh shadows whether it's in the morning or in the afternoon and there's a bad angle on the car. You want, you know, full-blown light on your car and to represent it well. Um, and again, think of the 360 rule. You want the front, the sides, the back, all around the car, the roof. And, uh, you know, try to get a good representation of the car in natural light. I mean, you know, smartphones today are taking a decent shot. They're not the greatest, but some of them are actually doing some pretty good photos. And uh, what I'm noticing is that people, when they do shoot with their smartphones, they're shooting this way, the vertical way. I don't know if it's back in the Polaroid days we used to do that, but come on. These are widescreen uh, smartphones now. Shoot wide. You want a good representation. You're, you're limited to your shot when it's vertical. You're not getting a full representation of the car. So again, all around shots of the car and then get into more details, you know, show the blemishes in the paint because that shows your honesty and that puts me at ease because now I know this guy's being honest and upfront and he's not trying to hide anything. Show the motor. I want to see the trunk. I want to see the spare tire tub. You know, show these different angles and show the most crucial points, of course, the VIN tags and of course the shots under the back seat, you know, so. Uh, when you start showing things like that, and then you, you know, you're putting the, the buyer at ease and, you, and it's showing more trust in the ads. And then when it comes to the interior, think the same thing, 360. You know, I want to see the seats, I want to see the carpet, I want to see the headline, I want to see the back window area. I'm, you know, there's so many angles that you can shoot. I mean, think a general rule of 25, 50 pictures is nice. I know some of the ads online, they don't allow you to put that many pictures, but then you got the other convenience of a site like Dropbox or Picasso or Flickr or Shutterfly to upload these photos into a photo album and you just put the link in the ad. I know it sound, might sound a little confusing, but it's, it's not. And if you are confused with what I'm saying, just go to YouTube. I'm sure there's a how-to video out there showing you how to do it. So anyways, you know, those are some of the gripes that I have when it comes to selling your Beetle um, or any car in general is, yeah, you got to just got to show the goods if you want to sell the car quickly. And then I'll see these cars that are for sale for months on end. They haven't sold and they don't know why. And they email me and they're like, hey, Chris, I'm trying to sell my car. I don't know what it is. I'm like, you got two pictures up. 
you know, you're not showing nothing. And uh, one of the last things I want to talk about in the ads is these guys that post in ads, don't contact me if you're low baller. Don't, don't contact me if you're going to be, you know, I'm firm on my price. Don't, I'm, in, I'm not going to negotiate. You know, no bullshitters, part of my French. No assholes, part of my French. And I'm like, all right, you're real tough behind the computer, aren't you? When you do that, I don't know, come on. It's just like, really? You set yourself up for people to attack you because of that. You know, I mean, regardless, I think if you put that in your head or you don't put that in your head, you're going to get people that are going to low boy in and, and throw you those kind of, a, those kind of uh, comments and offers. It's just the nature of the beast when it comes to the internet age today. You got to live with it and it's just what it is. You know, so when you come off like that, I think that's just kind of like, come on. You know, it, just, it doesn't show good character on your part. Just be very upfront, be very honest with people, you know, and be humble. And uh, I, I think you're going to have success online. So... That's my vent tip for today. I mean, I usually don't do these sort of things, but you know me, I've been lately, oh my God, it's just, I'm seeing so many ads and I'm asking the same constant questions. Like, I need to see more pictures. I need to see this. You know, I like to see the undercarriage of the beetle, guys. I mean, you know, it's a crucial area that I need to see. I need to see under the wheel wells and I'm getting people telling me, oh, I, I can't get under there. Why? Just wheel well. Shoot your phone, put it on flash. Just shoot it. Oh, I can't get under the car to get a, a shot of the floor press. You don't have to. Snap. 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 Oh, that's so hard, I can't do it. Snap. Snap. All right, let's look at the pictures. Oh, that sucks. All right, delete, I'll try it again. Oh, that picture's not bad, I can take another one. All right, that's good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It's really not that difficult. You don't have to. I mean, you want get. I just want to tell you, you know, with, with so many conveniences at our disposal here, we have so many gadgets at our fingertips. You don't have to spend a lot of money to put out a halfway decent ad. And if you're not computer literate, if you're not gadget literate, I'm sure you got a granddaughter or a grandson or a kid that you know or a neighbor that you know that has a gadget and is uh, more than willing to help you out. Um, if not, then you can call me and I can do the ad for you and, you know, I take a little bit of a percentage and, you know, I get it out on a global scale and a much more targeted audience. So, you know what I mean, you know, it's uh, go to Best Buy, go to, you know, your local mall, you can, I mean, some of these little digital cameras today, they're only nothing, you know, it's just, I mean, this is, this thing I've been using for five, six years now, you could probably pick it up for 50 bucks, you know, it, it, it still takes a decent shot, so, that's my gripe, you know, I just had to get this off my chest, I've just seen, I search on a daily basis, and man, oh man, it's just, I can't believe, I don't know if it's laziness, or it's just, oh, I don't have the time, it's like, well, you know, you want to sell the car, I, you got to see, I got to see the goods, you know, so anyways, that's my tip for today. Uh, if you have any questions, have any comments, email me, chris at classicvwbugs.com or visit my website, www.classicvwbugs.com. Happy selling. Um.